Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I graph transformations from an algebraic rule and what are its key features? So we have this quadrilateral right here, W, X, Y, Z, and I already plotted the original points. And it says the figure to the right is transformed using the rule X opposite Y. Fill out the table below with the original and new points, then graph its transformation to the right. So I already have the points plotted and now I'm going to transform the points using this rule, x opposite y. So what this rule means is that the x value is going to stay the same and I'm going to change the sign of the y value. It's gonna be the opposite of what it is. So my new w point will be at negative six, positive four, because I changed the sign of the y value. My new x, x prime will be at negative four, positive two, my new y value will be at negative two, positive three, and my new z value will be at negative two, positive five. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot those points. W prime is at negative six, four. X prime is at negative four, two. Y prime is at negative two, three. And Z prime is at negative two, five. So there is my new figure, just connecting the points now. And it says describe the transformation. So I can see that it looks like it was flipped over the X axis. I also know that this was a reflection rule because I just changed the sign of one of the values. So this is a reflection over the X axis. And then the next question says, are the original and new figures similar, congruent, both, or neither? So these would be congruent because they are the same size and the same shape. I didn't change anything about the size or the shape of this figure. I just flipped it over the X axis. Okay, let's look at our next one. We are going to transform this using the rule X plus six, Y minus four this time. So I'm going to be adding six to my Y value and subtracting four. Sorry, I'm gonna be adding six to my X value and subtracting four from my Y value to get my new transformed points. So my new J will be negative five plus six is one. And then three minus four for the new Y value will be negative one. Okay, gonna do the same thing with my new K value. The original K value was negative two and negative two plus six is four. So my new X value is four. And then my original Y value is three and I need to do three minus four to get the new Y value, which will be negative one. Then my new L value, I will do negative one plus six to get the X value and it's five. And then one minus four is negative three. So my new Y value is negative three. And then my new M value, negative six plus six is zero. So it has a new X value of zero. And then one minus four is negative four or negative three. Okay, now I'm going to plot my new points. My new J is at one, negative one. My new K is at four, negative one. My new L is at five, negative three. And my new M is at zero, negative three. Now I'm gonna connect the points. And it looks like I just slid this figure 
to the right and down. I didn't flip it. I did not turn it. I didn't change its size. I just slid it right and down, which is also reflected in the rule since I added to six, that was what, or added six to X, that was what made it move right. And since I've subtracted four from Y, that was what made it move down. So this is a translation We moved right six and down four. And then the next question says, are the original and new figures similar congruent both or neither? They are congruent. They're the same size and the same shape. I didn't change anything about that. We just slid it right and down. Okay, next one here is our original figure and we are going to transform it using this rule opposite y x. So I'm going to flip the order of my x and y and then I'm going to also change the sign of that original y value. So let's do that with e. I am flipping the order so it's going to be 5 2 and then I'm also changing the sign of the original y value. So F, the order doesn't matter since they're both five, it's still gonna be five, five, but I'm changing the sign of what was that Y value that's now in the X value spot. G prime, same thing. I'm going to switch the order to become three, six, and then change the sign of the original Y value. And then H prime will be at negative three, three when I transform it with that rule. So let's plot these points now. E prime is at negative five, two. F prime is at negative five, five. G prime is at negative three, six. And then H prime is at negative three, three. And it looks like my figure turned. We rotated it around the origin. You could think of that 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise or 270 degrees clockwise. So that is a rotation, either 90 degrees clock counterclockwise because you would just move one quadrant counterclockwise, or you could think of it as 270 clockwise if you moved it through three quadrants. And then it says, are the original figure, original and new figures similar, congruent both or neither? They are congruent because we just turned this figure. We did not change its shape or size at all. Okay, last one, we are going to transform it with this rule right here. And this time I am multiplying my X and my Y coordinate by two thirds. So six times two thirds, all of these numbers are six. So I just need to figure out what six times two thirds is. That would be 12 over three, which is four. So all of the numerical values are gonna change to four and the signs are gonna stay the same since I'm not multiplying by a negative to change any signs. So this will become negative four, four for my new A. My new B will be at four, four. My new C will be at four, negative four. And my new D will be at negative four, negative four. Okay, so let's plot those negative four, four for my new A. My new B will be at four, four. New C at four, negative four. And new D at negative four, negative four. So as you can see, this time my figure actually did change sizes. It still looks like it's a square, but I got smaller. So this was a dilation. And the scale factor was two thirds. It's two thirds the size of what it was. So it's a dilation by a scale factor of two 
thirds. And then it says, are the original figures similar, congruent, both, or neither? Well, they're not congruent anymore because they're definitely not the same size, but they are similar. Dilations always produce similar figures. And we can also tell by looking at it that it's similar because it's the same shape. They're both squares. Um, this new one is just smaller than the original one.